been around since fucking 1980 fucking eight. And you're gonna give me one fucking minute? Even if you don't listen to Good Day, you've probably heard of Billy Joy Armstrong and his extraordinary character. What the fuck? I'm not fucking Justin Bieber, you motherfuckers! Some of Green Day's songs are quite melodic, and we can sing them to the tune. But do we actually know what they are about? For today, I'm prepared to talk about a few song titles that we might find confusing. Let's go! Let's go! And we'll start off with something psychedelic. Basket case. Do you have the time to listen to me whine? About nothing and everything all at once. According to Urban Dictionary, a basket case is somebody with emotional instability or mental disease, which I think is pretty clear from the lyrics and the music video. She was such a basket case after she'd seen the spider. Billy Joy became such a basket case after his show had been interrupted. Okay, well, why is it called in a such a strange way? Basket case. Well, this concept originates in the First World War, where the soldiers who had lost their arms and legs would have been placed in a basket carriage like this. Later, the medic was changed from physically weak to mentally weak. I'm sure you know the next one. American idiot. Most of you know why it's called American Idiot, but this song is too famous not to include it here. So basically, the song is about rednecks who are idiots because they are controlled by mass media. However, you should be careful with the word redneck. In the video above, I'm explaining why. American Idiot is also the name of a musical based on a self titled album by Green Day. this one, it's Follower of Broken Dreams. Here it's worth mentioning that dreams in the title might be referred to a typical American dream. What does it mean, American dream? It's something that an average working-class American dreams about. They believe that working hard for America would benefit you in the end. You will be able to build a house of your dream, have many kids in there with pets and a big SUV. The protagonist is thinking about broken American dreams because he started to realize that it's nothing but illusion. He feels lonely because he's disappointed by American society which can't open their eyes to reality. Next one. 21st century breakdown. Breakdown as a noun or a verb has many different meanings. In this case, it means a failure of something, especially the political system. The song was released in 2009 and it's about a grown up man breaking the century. He was born in the 70s. Now he's around 40 and he believes he knows something about the world and himself. And so he goes, my generation is zero and never made it as a working class hero. It's called a breakdown because it was a new era of a new American president and people were not sure what to expect. The video of the next song has been viewed many times. Partly it's because of a couple kissing, and maybe because of a sequel of Transformers. But it's actually deeper than that. Let's see what I mean. 
against the 21 Guns is famous not only among Green Day's fans. From the video and the lyrics, we understand why Guns. But why 21? Do you know? Well, the title is a direct reference to 21 guns salute during funerals, to honor somebody important from the military of the United States. And so, why 21? Because look, seven soldiers take part in this procedure. Each of them shot three times. And so, it comes out that 7 multiplied by 3 equals 21. Probably the first two lines are the most important in the song. Do you know what you're fighting for, when it's not worth dying for? I'm gonna leave you with some thoughts about it. I'll be honest with you, the lyrics by Green Day are not the easiest ones to interpret. And so, if you like this video, please let me know with a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please remember, make rock, not war. Bye!